Today we have a 2023 Mercedes EQS 450 SUV. Now the EQS SUV is one of the newest additions to Mercedes EQ lineup, being the biggest electric vehicle offered by the German manufacturer. Think of it as a fully electric GLS. As of May 2023 we get three powertrain options in North America. An EQS 450 Plus, offering 355 horsepower with a range up to 305 miles, EQS 454 Matic that you see here, also producing 355 horsepower with around 285 miles of range, and top of the line EQS 580 for Matic with 536 horsepower and a range of 285 miles. The base 450 Plus features a single rear axle motor while the 454 Matic and 550 have dual motors, one on each axle, making them all-wheel drive. The EQS SUV is built on Mercedes' first dedicated EV platform called Electric Vehicle Architecture, shared with models like the EQS Sedan, EQE or the EQE SUV. It's a 400-volt architecture, meaning it can take up to 200 kilowatts using DC fast charging, so it will take you about 30 minutes to get from 10 to 80 percent. The chassis features a multi-link setup in the front and back with aromatic air suspension and adaptive dampers, and you also get a 10-degree rear axle steering. Now, before we talk how it all works together, let's jump inside the EQS 450 in the top, pinnacle trim, and talk about the interior space. Just as expected from a Mercedes, the interior of the EQS SUV is amazing. It's all about luxury and a unique experience and everything you interact with or touch feels premium. You get a great mix of high-quality materials including suede, real leather or aluminum and everything is well put together. The dashboard, however, feels weird at first. It's positioned relatively high and in the case of my tester is dominated by three displays or as Mercedes calls it, the hyperscreen, totaling 56 inches. The first display is a highly customizable gauge cluster allowing you to change the design of your gauges, show driver assist information or display a full screen map. In the middle you have a 17.7 inch touchscreen with haptic feedback controlling relatively user friendly infotainment system and the front passenger gets a 12.3 inch display which can stream videos or control cars multimedia. Don't ask me why it's there. The standard Burmester 3D audio system with Dolby Atmos offers a phenomenal sound quality at all volume levels, no matter what type of music you're listening to and you have different DSP modes to choose from. The multi contour front seats with massage, standard on the pinnacle trim, are excellent. They're extremely comfortable with lots of padding and offer good adjustability with decent support. Now moving to the back, the EQS SUV being built on a dedicated EV platform has plenty of room. The $2000 executive rear seat package that my tester was equipped with adds squishy neck pillows, a tablet, heated seats and a wireless phone charger and for additional $1250 you can get a third row of seats. Alright, so that was the interior of the Mercedes EQS SUV. Let's get it on the road now and see how it drives. The best term to associate the EQS SUV with is Serenity. If you're looking for a sporty electric SUV, I'm sorry to disappoint you. That car isn't one. I mean, it handles fine has a good amount of power and the rear steering gives you that artificial feeling of nimbleness, but the EQS is all about being comfortable and quiet, letting you forget about the outside world. The ride quality is phenomenal thanks to standard air springs and adaptive dampers, and since the EQS SUV is an electric vehicle, there's no NVH from the powertrain, however, there is some room for improvement in the drivetrain area, mainly in terms of calibration. What do I mean by that? As most EVs, the EQS SUV has different levels of regen braking, normal and strong, 
and the second one seriously requires getting used to. The car drastically slows down once you lift off your foot of the accelerator and the brake pedal self-depresses on its own. Something I haven't experienced in any other EVs. The end result is you don't have a good feel of the brake pedal which I found dangerous especially in stop and go traffic. Luckily you can completely disable recuperation or pop it into intelligent mode which will adjust braking based on different conditions such as a slope of the road, if you're approaching a turn or a distance between you and the following vehicle. Now when it comes to driver assist features, the EQS SUV is loaded with standard safety features including an automatic braking with pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control with curve adaptation and automatic lane changing, active blind spot monitoring and lane keeping assist with automatic steering, evasive steering assist, front and rear cross traffic alert with automatic braking, matrix LED headlights which in certain situations project warnings or information on the road ahead of you, front and rear parking sensors with a 360 degree camera, or an active emergency stop assist which can completely stop the car if the driver is unresponsive. So that was the Mercedes EQS 450 SUV. With everything we covered, let's jump to the conclusion. The Mercedes EQS SUV is what you expect a luxury electric SUV to be. Spacious, stylish, which might be debatable, but let's say it looks good. Super comfortable and very technologically advanced, but I do have one gripe with it and it's the powertrain. The competitors such as a BMW iX, Rivian R1S or a Tesla Model X have better tuned drivetrains and offer more than 300 miles of range while the EQS 450 formatic SUV gets 285 miles. On a good day. Pricing starts at $104,000 for a base, rear-wheel drive EQS 450 Plus and an all-wheel drive is a $3,000 option. My tester being top of the line, pinnacle trim with few options added was priced at $135,000. It's worth noting that the EQS SUV comes with a 4-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty and a 10-year, 155,000-mile warranty for the battery pack. If you have any questions about the EQS SUV, feel free to drop a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you later.